Hey everybody, so this is a quick update on this, um, the plants and how they're doing within the CO2 system now. And I can tell you that, uh, man, it is going pretty impressive. Things are definitely growing at a much faster pace than with just my dosing of the Excel. Um, I still, I'm still using Excel and Flourish, uh, um, alternating each day, but then I put the uh, CO2 system on during the day. And things are growing very well, very healthy. The, of course, the most notable one uh, plant is the strength of my banana plant right now. I mean, the leaves are strong, healthy, and just big. And then uh, it's now putting out a lily pad that's going all the way to the top here. I expect it to open today or tomorrow. It's just been pretty impressive. My rotella in the back is again uh, growing really fast. It already is reaching near the top. As you know from a previous video, I had already cut them in half to replant and, and get them more bushy. And sure enough, that's working very well. The wisteria over here looks amazing. And I want to point something out to you that uh, is really interesting. It's something I noticed right away, but uh, I had to read about it just to see what was going on. And that's that's the phenomenon of the la the leaves shape in conjunction with the water temperature. If you look really closely to the bottom of these stalks, you can see that the leaves are more round, more solid. And as you move up to the top, you can see how they've um, they split off into different uh, more ruffled look, uh, more leafy. And uh, that's got everything to do with water temperature. So when I um, bought the plant in the plant store, the water was much cooler. And that results in that uh, type of leaf shape. But the warmer the leaves, the, I'm sorry, the warmer the water, the uh, more fragmented the leaves get. And that's something. So the original plant and then new growth it's pretty cool actually the same happens with the rotala if you go over here let me get a good view of here and zoom in right by that snail you can see some rounder leaves there towards the bottom it's maybe hard to make out there but as you move up in the column they're more skinnier and more numerous that is also due to the temperature of the water. So something you don't learn every day. The Ludwigia here, the lone stock that I got, is doing well. It's a slower growth plant. I hope to uh, trim it and replant it to get another stock going here real soon. Um, that uh, old cryptocorn here is doing well. The uh, small, the parva here, it actually has some new growth and so it takes longer for uh, this species of crypt to um, get settled but it's starting to root I can tell just by the new growth so I'm pretty encouraged by that so everything is looking amazing my tank hasn't looked this good in a while I think um, pretty happy with it and uh, hope you can enjoy it a little bit let me know if you have any questions or comments or if you have any tips uh, for me. All right, talk to you later.